god, I need it. <laughs> it's okay, we can help you. Okay. We can fix this issue. Apparently I'm I'm helpable. Yeah, she's she's struggling. I'm fixable. It's okay. It's a quick solution. <laughs> We're doing stuff again. Hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. I'm back again with my best friend Jenny. And today we're going to do the rip it or ship it tag. I know this is usually done in February because of Valentine's Day. I didn't do it then, and I thought it'd be fun for us to get into arguments over whether or not we actually agreed with these rips or ships. Dun, dun, dun. So, I, I just wanted to pick a fight, apparently. Back down. Yep. So we have this big bowl with a ridiculous amount of names in it. I don't know that we'll do all of them. We'll just stop when we want to. We have characters from books we both read, from movies we've seen, TV shows we both watched. Go ahead and pick the first one. Okay. Our first character is, we're going to see if I can read Mary's handwriting, Rakash. Do you remember Rakash? Give me a quick overview. Stormwing. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, for everyone else. Okay, so he's a Stormwing who... Is seen primarily in the Immortal series. Him and Dane, well, Dane hates him in the beginning. He really likes messing with her and teasing her, and they kind of become weird friends at the end. Mm -hmm. So his rip it or <laughs> is Harry Potter. I don't know if you guys can read my handwriting. That's also backwards, I think. Yeah, it doesn't. Um. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't ship that. In what world could I ship that? I'm like trying to figure out if that's even like remotely shippable. Like, Rakash would um, eat Harry alive for breakfast. Like, he would, but Harry's also a sorcerer, so I feel like he could probably like fish it up a little bit. But like, aren't they able to, they're like immune to magic. Oh, you're right. So like, <laughs> Harry's screwed because all he can do is throw magic around. Okay, so. And be a sassy person. I would ship Rakash with Voldemort because then Voldemort no. would actually win. <laughs> he could use him and he could win. And it would be great. No, Rakash is too good for Voldemort. Oh, Rakash is way too good He's for Voldemort. He's redeemable. Yes. You'd have to ship, you'd have to ship Ozorn Stormwing with Wait. Voldemort. Oh, that's true. They both have the crazy maniacal thing going on. That's a true story. I would ship Rakash with... That's a really good question. Actually, Tog. The Basilisk. <laughs> Taka? Talk. I think talk. it's Taka. Maybe it's Taka. Because it's T-K-A-A. -A. I always say talk. I know, I'm putting the K in the wrong area. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a true story about how we virtue all of her names. Yep. Okay. Okay. So that's a ribbit, I've been thinking. Yep. Somebody came out to read this anyway. Uh, it's the same person every time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick them on the bottom. They're very excited. Yeah, someone we threw in there for the hell of it. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. So we get Sarai, who, fun fact, is the... Oh my gosh, I have so many problems with her. Yeah, uh, neither of us like her. She's in the Alley books. and The Trickster, the Trickster books. series, sorry. And so she is technically the one that they're trying to put on the throne until she just runs away. And then her sister gets put on and the throne. And we're really happy she runs away. We're going to... <laughs> no! Dove is her little sister. Is Dove illegal. is 12. Sarai is 16. No. No, if this is legal. We're just, we're I ship them as sisters. That's true. As sisters, I do like their, I like them. Okay. But like, not romantically. Cause no. No. <laughs> okay. It's not okay. Yep, we're, we're getting into some funky stuff today. Okay, so we got Alana. We're just rocking and rolling. Yeah. Today. Hermione. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I feel like Hermione could kind of give her the shit back. Cause yeah, because Alana gets really, temper. like, she has a big temper, and she gets really stuck in her ways, and I feel like Hermione would, like, throw down some facts, and, like, Alana would just be like, well, mm, I don't know what to say. I ship it. I ship it. It shipped. It's the weirdest ship I think I've ever had in my life, but I ship it. I feel it. like we're going to get weirder. <laughs> yeah, it's a true story. We got this. <laughs> We've gotten some weird ones. Okay, I'm assuming that's Numeric. Right? That is Numeric. <laughs> Mrs. Norris. Numeric would kill her. Okay, he wouldn't kill her because he's nice to animals and a decent human being. He would punt her across. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, no. That's, that's gonna be it. 
I'll get Cloud. Cloud. Cloud is a horse, not a cloud. Cloud is the horse from the Immortal series. <laughs> wow. We have a lot. We have almost like every character from the Immortal series. Yeah, we're just rocking and rolling in that. Uh, he um, has a Sass Master horse, by the way. She. I think on rainbows. They what? The crow. I ship them as friends. I bromance them. I bromance them hard. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. 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 Okay. We found like all Tortal. Characters. Yeah, we're back in Tortal again, ladies and gentlemen, with Dane herself. Which is unsurprising considering I talk about him every series, but we put like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Avatar in here. The last Airbender, not the Blue People, by the way. Yeah. Because I don't know the names of any of the people in the Blue People movie. I know that they are called Avatars. No, they're not. No, it's it's just the one blue person. Appa. Yes! Not I mean, romantically. No, okay, I was like... But Appa from Avatar, Dane would love him. Oh, yeah. Dane would like... I mean, she can talk to animals. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. Yeah, she'd that be, would be so that. cute. That would be... She'd be like, oh, my goodness, you're so big and fluffy, and then they fly, and then they'd be majestic. Yep. It's a giant ball of death. Okay, I have Sarge. We're gonna not. No, he's in the, um, we see him mostly in the Immortal series. Yep. He is the, um, training commander for the Queen's Riders. Whoop whoop. Sokka. No. <laughs> I okay. see Sarge being Sokka's mentor. Like, third season Sokka when he's got, like, his shit together in the Book of Fire. Maybe. And, like, he's leading armies and, like, planning these master plans. And I feel like know? Sokka would get there because of Sarge. He'd like, get there sooner. Okay. I don't know if I would ever ship them romantically, though. No, no, no. We don't have any romantic ships right now. No, we do have one. We have Alana and Hermione. That's right. The solid one. What? Oh, Orzorn. 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 Ron Weasley. (laughs) Okay, so I wasn't really going to ship them with anyone, if we're about to be honest. No, I wasn't either, but that's really hilarious. Poor Ron. I have issues with Ron. So... Do you have issues with book run or movie run? Both. Okay. I have a lot of issues with the main Harry Potter characters. That's a different video. I don't ship them. No. I don't think... I just... I don't even bromance them. I don't bromance them. I don't even enemy them. Like, I don't see them being good enemies. Like, they they would just, like... No, I could, like, see him being Harry's enemy or something. But yeah. Like... So he would be Harry... Ozorn would be Harry's enemy. But, like, Tehran, he's just Blaze, a beanie. Like, he doesn't exist. Okay, so we have Momo. Momo. It's gonna be some human thing. Caladre. Yeah. Would Kel handle Momo well? Yeah. She has all those animals. Oh, that is she true. She has Peach Blossom and Hoshi and the birds. And yeah. at one point she has a griffin and she has Jump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Momo would fit right in. Okay, yeah. So, and, like... A cute friend sort of animal yeah. human way. He would, like, go scout for her. Yeah, that's true story. And tell her secrets that all the other people are telling. Yeah, or he'd have, like, hardcore ADHD, which he does have. and just be He does friend. have! She'd just be like, Momo, settle down! And he'd just like... Mm. <laughs> okay, so we have Tom, Alana's brother. We... I had to make a distinction, because there's Allie's brother, Tom. Oh, good point. I didn't even think there's a lot of Toms. Zuko! No. <laughs> No, because okay. I hate Tom. Tom is an asshole, and Zuko doesn't deserve that. Deserve he doesn't deserve that agony that Tom would put him through. Can we put him back in until we pull him out with the first time. We pull him out. No, that's not how this works. You cannot pull him out. Wait to pull him out with Katara. I would approve of that. Yeah, sure. that's, that's everyone wants ship. that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's why I ship too. We're not even like halfway through. I've got Ellie. I love her. She's like my favorite, actually. <laughs> Rapunzel! Okay, that could actually be kind of cute. We threw this one in for the hell of it, but I feel like now we should have done more Disney characters. We should have just done Disney and Tortal characters. That would have been an interesting combo. Next year. Okay. For we'll Valentine's. Yeah. Be prepared for next year. Dun, dun, I kind dun, of dun. do. because And, like, I feel like it would kind of be a cute combination, because Allie is definitely, like, the plotting brain side. Yeah, and she has, like, she's very, like, clever and twisty, and Rapunzel's just like... I feel like Rapunzel would be like that cute chipper like offset to her. Yeah, she'd just be like, let's go do it! And Allie's but like, we didn't think it through. So! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be adorable. Yup. Okay, we now have two ships. And they're both female-female. Woohoo! Okay, we've got the Basilisk from Harry Potter. Yeah. And some poor little sucker is about to be shipped with us. Oh, no! Neil! Neil 
is from the Protector of the Small series. He's Kel's best friend. He was in... I actually talked about him and Keldry in my favorite friendships video. No. And uh, now he has been eaten by He's basilisk. He's been eaten by a basilisk. <laughs> because the basilisk. Because I was a butthead and put a basilisk in there hoping that he would get Baltimore. But Neil might be able to kill him. He has magic. He does have magic. Probably better magic than Harry had, so. Yeah. Gonna hope. We'll hope for you, Neil. We'll hope for you. <laughs> We're also not shipping that for clear no. and obvious reasons. I'm gonna get him because he wants to come out and visit. Stop putting him under there. I can't find him anymore. I know that was the point. You're rude. Okay, so we have Prince John, also from Tortal. We just are getting everyone from Tortal. He's a butthead. Okay, he's not a butthead. He just has an Aang. Okay, but hold on. Let's think about this for a minute. Because... Prince John, before he becomes king or after he becomes king? Yeah, that's a huge difference. That's a huge... I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is a huge difference. Prince John before he becomes king, yes. Okay. Prince John after he becomes king, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I could get behind that. Yep. Okay. So, pre-king, yes. Since it's Prince John and not King John. There we go. Yep. Yes. So, ship it. Ship it. Voldemort. <laughs> of course he's the problem child. Of course he's the problem child. Let's see who. <laughs> oh. Um, Sauron. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember him saying that right from Lord of the Rings. Is he the giant eyeball? Yup. Oh my god. Yes. Shut yep. the shit out of that. I feel like they would drive each other crazy. Right? Which would make me so happy. It would, they would just like, they would make each other just be like crazy and all their like plans would just be half cocked because they were just like trying to get something done and they couldn't. <laughs> I ship that. Yeah. I ship that. That was the weirdest ship I think we've actually had now. Yeah. That, that's winning the award. Okay, so we've got Burry. Burry! Also from the Immortal. Think something. We meet her the most in Protector of the Small. Okay. She's awesome. Yes. Katara. That's another, like, brains, brawn, both sassy women. Yeah, I'm like, they'd either, like, punch each other in the face or I they'd ship be good. them as friends. I don't ship them romantically. Okay, bromance, but with females? Yeah, bromance. for a bromance? So much for not actually using all of these. Surprise, we are. Okay, so Luna from Harry Potter, my first non-Tortal character. You had all the Tortal. I've had like Oh, no, all. wait, I got Voldemort. That's L. right. Voldemort's the only non -tortal. And the Baskalis. Oh, yeah, good point. George yeah. Cooper. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> they'd be adorable, and Luna would get George into so much shit, <laughs> even though George was like a thief, which I want his story. I wouldn't know how he became not the king of the thieves without dying. Like, I just want his story. Yeah, like, I would everything. take his story too. I actually want everyone's story, if yeah. she could be so kind as to live forever and write Tomorrow them Tomorrow Pierce, we want, we want all the stories. Yes. From all the Tortal characters. So, Fountain of Youth, go. Yep. We'll, we'll try helping you out with that. I got Frodo. Dumbledore? No. No. Dumbledore would screw Frodo up. Dumbledore would do to Frodo what he did to Harry. Basically. Like, literally, it's it's the same situation. The 100% same. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, no. Nope. Well, someone... The last one's gonna have to have a threesome. We have Raul. Fuck! Roger! <laughs> <sighs> no! I would want Raul to shit out of Roger. Yeah, I would ship that. We have Thayet. This is gonna be interesting. This is a good start. Top! Yes! Please don't fuck it up. Oh! And Junai. Yes! Oh my god. Yes! They're all <laughs> badass women. Yeah, she's, she's not wrong. There's not a single or yeah. woman. Okay, let's explain... Junai and Sayet and Toph really quick for those who okay. don't know. So Junai is from the Trickster series. She is, ends up being Allie's bodyguard when everyone figures out what Allie is to the yeah. to the Raka cause. And the Raka is kind of like the black skin people of the Copper Isles. Yep. Then you've got Sayet, who is a princess. She's from the Jimmajun line, but oh, she's okay. from, I can't remember what country she's from. I cannot help you. I'm Hussein? So sorry. Nope. She's badass. And then you've got Toph. Who's from Avatar The Last Airbender, and she is also like, badass. Like, she figure, she's an earth bender, and she figures out how to bend metal. She's the first metal bender. Yeah, they would all just support each other, and they're all super smart. Yeah, I feel like this would be like a good emotionally supportive badass. Yeah, these would just like these people would conquer the world. Especially, together. Yeah. yeah. So ship the shit out of it. Do you know we yeah. ship the shit out of way more female characters? Yeah. Than female characters? Well, because all the male characters got fucked over. Throw a rebel with George Cooper. That is true. Yeah. Why would ship that? Voldemort with Sora. <laughs> like, that is... Sauron. That's my favorite. <laughs> yep. Well, uh, okay. 
That is true. Next year, we're going to do just a Tortal or Tamar Pierce characters in Disney ship or uh, Ripper ship. Because that would be hilarious <laughs> and really awesome yeah. and really adorable. Um, if you don't, if you if you liked any of the ships that we shipped or if you disagree with any of them, please leave comments down below. And until the next video, ta-ta for now.